other night. Before I dimmed my light, I started reading history. I came upon a mystery about a fountain rare. No one was ever there. A place where you could get that view. Explorers look for it most everywhere. I fell asleep and dreamed that I was there. At the fountain of you, at the fountain of you. I talked in old ladies, turned right into babies. All kings with kings started to drink. They got gay the cut up when they started to drink. That's the fountain of you, that's the fountain of you. You ought to see what I saw there. Why, one old man who had fought life's battle came out shaking a baby's rattle. I'm telling the truth. I saw him cut his first tooth. Down at the fountain of you. Now suppose the things I dreamed were really what they seemed. Say I would climb a mountain to get back to that fountain. Because a fellow there with lots of golden hair was rolling great blue eyes at me. And love me, dear, he said. But when I tried, I fell right out of bed. At the fountain of youth, at the fountain of youth, I saw old rheumatics doing acrobatics. Rip Van Winkle just lay down and snored. A Packard car say turned into a Ford. At the fountain of youth, at the fountain of youth, you ought to see what I saw there. Why, one old maid, let me see, her name, oh yes, it was Kitty. She dived right in and came out so pretty. Mother McCree looked like a chicken to me. Down at the fountain of youth. Look out! 
a wise young New Yorker, out for some fun long to go. Now she had a fellow, a porker, who hated to part with his dough. Why, all that he did every evening was just sit in her parlor and sigh. And poor Maisie stood it as long as she could, and then she said to the guy, Out of the city of six million people, why did you pick out me? Why, you're as exciting as Jackers. Gee, I'll bet you go broke by Meckers. While you're busy spinning and bum joke you're spinning, a movie I'm dying to see. Why, if Stanley depended on people like you, he'd be down on Park Road selling five cents beef stew. Out of the city of six million people, why did you pick out me? Why, you must spend almost a quarter when you go out on a tear. Say, the best thing you say is ice water. I'll bet that you cut your own hair. Why, you make a dandy lifesaver, cause you can stay under so long. I thought that I had a regular guy, but I'm wrong, old pal, all wrong. Out of the city of six million people, why did you pick out me? Why, you sit for ten hours and ponder over every large kidney wonder. And your father amusement, <laughs> no inducement, I'd much rather have tango tea. You said you were gay, I could have what I wish. Well, if they call you gay, kiddo, I prefer this. Out of a city of six million people, why did you pick out me? Now, can you imagine it? Here in a city of six million people, that fellow had to find poor little me. You know, he invites me to sit on park benches. <laughs> I just as soon be out in the trenches. And he takes me out walking, yes, and he keeps on walking when some cabaret time you see. And he gets away with the nerve that he's got. And good useful men like uh, a Lincoln get shot. Out of the city of six million people, why did he pick out me? They feel quite certain, but no one 
There was a simple country maiden in a simple country town, not so far from old Broadway. She had never seen the city till her mother took her down. Then she only let her spend a day. So demurely she said, surely, mother, I don't care to stay. If New York says wicked as they say. Now, sweet baby, she always did the meet you with, just like her dear old grandma used to do. And sweet baby, she was her mother's darling face. She glided by with drooping eyes, a modest shy baby. But when the boys came around, her feet were hardly ever on the ground. She'd shake her shoulders to a raggy air, tango waltz to the grizzly bear, roll her eyes and then she'd give a tear and kick the chandelier. But when her mother did appear, she always did the miles away where she went to spend a weekend. But did she spend them with her auntie? Yes, her auntie too was gay. They'd run down and meet some Broadway friends. Cabareting, not crocheting, was what Babette liked the best. Home sweet home was just a place to rest. Now, sweet Babette, just like her dear old grandma used to do. And sweet Babette, she was her mother's darling face. She glided by with drooping eye, a money shy Babette. But when the boys came around, her feet were hardly ever on the ground. She'd shake her shoulders to a raggy air. Something you 
like to hear you mean a blank golden bell. No one ever speaks of love to me. Well, let me be the first. I'll find a tree. Under the love moon, we'll sit and spoon. Oh, dear, Wonderful girl, I write to say I love you. Wonderful. 